Hello there folks. This uh, quick video is going to show you how to make a fan blower graphic uh, that I use in some of my classes that shows a picture of a uh, fan blowing when it's on and uh, when it's off it's gray type uh, situation. So what we're going to do here, I'm using a uh, graphite, uh, Redline graphite HMI here. This is the 9 inch. I'm first going to go over to data tags on the left and I'm going to create a flag tag this little pole down here and I'm going to select a flag tag and I'm going to call this tag fan underscore status. You notice it's blue right now because it's just an internal tag. It could be mapped to something in the uh, real world but for right now it's just internal for our testing. I'll go down here to display pages now and uh, to do the test here uh, I always like to, to drag the tag on the screen just so I can see it for testing. So I'll go over to the right side and I'll click data tags on the right side and I'll just grab that single tag I have and I'll just drag and drop it down here like so. And I'm going to put a button here to turn it on and off to manually show us turning this thing on and off. So to do that I'm going to go over to the right side and click primitives on the right side. And in primitives I'll go to the home directory on top and I'm going to come down and I'm going to choose a simple two state toggle. So choose the two state toggles and the one I want to use just as an on off button I like the standard toggle two button fourth row down from the top over on the left side so I'll just drag this guy out here like this and I'll make it a little bigger so our fingers have a little more space to touch it and then I'm going to double click on this thing to bring up its properties and I want to put the fan status tag right here in the value so that we can manually turn this on and off by clicking above the halfway point above we'll turn it on and click on the below here we'll turn it off so I'm gonna go to data tags on the right side and I'm gonna drag the fan status out here like so and then that'll let us uh, control that and then I'm gonna turn this to no so it completely fills in here I'll click OK and there's our button now to put the graphic on the screen we're gonna do two things first we're gonna put a picture of a fan that's gray and have it show up when the fan is not on and then I'm going to uh, use a different kind of a primitive to show the fan blowing. So first let's go over to the right side and let's go to symbol factory over here on the right side. Click on symbols in the right side and if we go into a category called blowers etc click here on blowers etc you're gonna see all kinds of pictures of fans. The one I'm gonna use is called the cool fan animation frame and this is one two three four fifth row down from the top over on the right hand side is cool fan animation frame one so let me click on that and you see there's all kinds of pre-built uh, colored ones here you can choose any color you want but this is going to be for the off status so I'm going to choose maybe one of these gray ones and I'll drag the gray guy out like this and maybe I'll make him a little bigger like so this is the picture that I want to show up when the fan is in the off picture. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this thing to bring up its properties and the only thing I'm going to change here, one thing I'll change is the maintain aspect. I'll, I'll leave that to, to no, that way if I stretch it, it follows. If you change it to yes, it stays to the scaling and I don't want to do that. I'll leave that as no. But this section right here where it says display state, the only time I want this thing to show up on the screen is when the fan is not on. Uh, so when the fan is not on I want this to show up so what we can do is we can make this uh, equation two ways uh, one we can click on data tags over here on the right and we can grab our fan status and simply drag that guy down here like this but if I leave it in this mode that means the only time this shows up is when the fan is on that's not the case I want this to only show up when the fan is off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the little pull down here where it says general or tag I mean and I'll select the word general that lets me put my mouse in here or my cursor and if I go right before the word fan put my cursor right before the fan and do shift in the explanation point explanation point there and hit enter this explanation point is the not of this equation so it's uh, basically going to do the not of it so I'll hit the OK button here and that shows up on the screen. Let me just demonstrate for that real quick. I'll download to my download this to my HMI here. 
and then I'll pull up the web browser that way you can see so see how it's currently on the screen right now it's showing up if I turn the fan on look how it disappears so that parts working okay I want this to show up only when the fan is in the off state so that's okay let me go back to crimson now the next procedure though is a little bit trickier because I want to show the picture of a fan and I want it to be look like it's turning so this is going to be more than just a picture it's going to be a primitive a smart thing that's on the screen so I'm going to go over to the right side and click primitives on the right side go to the home directory of your primitives home directory the top here and for this primitive we're going to go into what's called the core primitives and one two three four five six rows down from the top over on the right hand side there's a thing called the animated image the IMG uh, primitive I'm simply gonna grab this thing and drag and drop it on the screen like so notice how it's uh, a white box nothing's in it. I got a red border on it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and right click on that and go to properties it's gonna bring up the properties of this particular thing well we're gonna need to use two different pictures of a fan and we're gonna oscillate between the pictures to make it look like the fan is blowing so up here where it says image count one change that to two so now we get two images here selection notice that crimson went from primitives where we were now into symbol factory and it happened to bring us right back to where we were earlier which is the cool fan animation frame one so I'm gonna use the green one here I'm gonna drag this guy over and drop it right here like so that's the first picture now the second picture is gonna be slightly different than this one so I'm gonna go over here to my primitives on the right and I'm gonna go up one directory so I'm in the blowers etc category still and this time I'm gonna come down to one two three four five six rows down from the top over on the left hand side click on the cool fan animation frame 2 and now I'm gonna grab that same green one that I picked earlier and I'll drag it over here now folks if you look at these two pictures they're slightly different this one has a blade going a little bit off of uh, center and this one has one going straight up and down so they're slightly different now I'm gonna change the maintain aspect here uh, no I'll leave that to know as well I'm sorry yep so that way when we stretch this it'll it'll match however this section up here where it says image select we're gonna use a pre-built function that redline has called disp count so I'm gonna type a disp count in here see DISP C O U N T and then I'm gonna do a period dot zero and enter disp count is a tag that just does nothing but count the number of times the page has been refreshed and then if I do a dot zero I'm looking at just merely bit zero of that uh, integer which will give me a flippy floppy between one and zero that's perfect but this section down here where it says show item well that means I only want this whole thing to show up whenever the fan is on so I'm gonna go over to the right side and click data tags on the right side and I'll grab my fan status tag and drag and drop it down here into the show item field and that'll take care of that and then I'll click OK and then I'm gonna make this guy be the same size of this one by right clicking on this guy and go same size as fourth thing from the bottom or fifth one two three four five and then I'll click on this one so I'm gonna leave this I'll offset it just like this so you can kinda of see let's go ahead and download this and see if it works correctly so I'll go to my web browser so you can see the real screen here now look if I click the on button the fan is blowing now the screen is being updated over the internet here so it's a little bit slow but if you were looking at the real screen it's turning quite quickly and then if I turn it off it disappears so and it shows this so I'll go back to crimson and I'm merely gonna just take this guy and I'll just superimpose it directly on here so they kinda line up they looks like one and now I'll go ahead and download it and watch what happens now so there's my fan if I turn it on notice how it's blowing now it's turning rotating here and if I turn it to the off position it goes back to gray off perfect so that covers how to make that thing a uh, uh, kind of a fan blower if you want to now I'd like to take this one step further
Maybe I want to use this thing over and over again in my program. Well, uh, you'd have to copy and paste and relink it to your tag, fan2, fan3, and so forth. Well, instead of doing that, I'm going to make this thing a widget. So I'm going to go ahead and take my mouse, and I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate both of those things, like so, and I'll group them together. I'm going to first go ahead and group them together. That makes them kind of lines them up. And then I'm going to right click on this thing and come down. Fifth thing or fourth thing from the bottom is widgetize. I'm going to click on the word widgetize here. Now I'm going to define this thing as a widget. So I'll hit the edit button here. And I'm going to say, you know what, this widget really only has one particular element. So I'll hit the edit button. I'll tip one and hit enter. You can see now that we're defining a widget tag, and if by chance I happen to name it the same as this, it'll make it real easy later on. So I'll highlight the name here and I'll go fan underscore status. If I leave the description category, I'll delete this. When I get done here, it'll actually show this name later. The data type, this is nothing more than just an integer. And since we're not actually uh, doing anything with this other than visualization right here where it says edit I'm gonna click and choose a tag and that defines this widget tag uh, uh, as a read-only type tag now down here where it says folder bind disabled just for this building I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and what this will do this will disconnect the current graphic from the real tag and make it linked to a widget tag you'll see here in a minute how this uh, plays out here, but this by turning this on, it'll disconnect it. So we'll click the OK button. Notice now it says fan status here, and I'll click the OK button once again. Okay, so now this thing should be linked to a tag called fan status or a fan status, a widget tag. It's not linked to the real thing here. Just to show that, I'm going to hit the download here. Let's we'll see what happens here. Let's go to the web browser. There's my tag. Notice if I turn it on and off right here now, nothing's happening happening, because this thing is looking to be linked to a widget tag. So I'll go back to here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and I'm going to go ahead and save it by going to the Organize Pull-Down menu. So here, let me back up and show it again. I clicked on it one time. I got the red box on it. I'll go to the Organize Pull-Down, and I'm going to go Save Widget. And I'm going to call this, uh, let's call this, uh, fan underscore well, let's just call it fan it's just called a fan widget so I hit that now I've saved it as a fan blower widget and if I go over to the uh, primitives on the right side and go ahead and click home directory here and if I come down and go into widgets here of course I've got lots of them here that's the blower today we're doing the demo with the fan so I'll grab the fan widget, and I'll drag this guy out like this. And if I want this one now to link to the fan tag, um, i got to fix something here. i got to go to the properties, and I'm going to turn off the folder binding. So right here where it says folder binding, I'm going to turn this off. Click OK. And now what this will do, this will allow me to simply grab my fan status right here, click OK and now it should operate correctly this one won't because I didn't do anything with this one yet but this guy should let's see what happens here download to my screen and I'll pull up my web browser and watch if I turn this on this one's now running here this guy has no affiliation with anything yet but this particular one here is running off this one so that's just a quick way of showing how to use the basically uh, the real meat and potatoes of this is the the animated image tool uh, graphics what we're using to make this happen so anyway i just thought i'd share that quick with a uh, note with you if you got any questions uh, let us know thanks a lot have a great day